Okay, today we're going to be approximating square roots. Now some of them we don't have to approximate, and that would be the kind that are square roots of perfect squares. Now let's look at the square root of 4. What does that mean? What number times itself equals 4? And if you said 2, you're exactly right. The square root of 9. What times itself equals 9? Well, how about 3 times 3 equals 9? Our next one's 49. Well, what would that be? Well, 7 times 7 is 49. How about 121? 11 times 11 is 121. So the square root of 121 will be 11. Now you may be saying, okay, that's pretty easy. But what happens when it doesn't come out even? What if it's the square root of 7? I don't know what number times itself comes out to be 7. So I have to look at the perfect squares on either side of it. In this case, the square root of 4 and the square root of 9. Those are the two perfect squares on either side of 7. So we know that the square root of 4 is 2. We know the square root of 9 is 3. So that means the square root of 7 is somewhere between 2 and 3. So sometimes you'll get questions. It'll simply say, Estimate the square root of 7 by telling us what whole numbers it's between. Well, it's between 2 and 3. And sometimes it'll say, I want it to the nearest tenth. Well, when it does that, you have to make a guess. In my case, I'm going to guess it might be 2.7. I may be right, I may be wrong, but let's see what happens. So I do 2.7 times 2.7. I get 49, carry my 4. And that's going to be 14, 18. Okay. And then 2 times 27, I know, is 54. That's just from doing a lot of math problems. And I get 9, 12 carry my 1. So that looks like 7.29. So that guess is a little bit higher than 7. So if it's higher, I want to go and make my estimate lower. And I'm going to try 2.6 times 2.6. So 6 times 6 is 36. So I'll carry my 3. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus the 3 up there would be 15. And I know that 2 times 26 happens to be 52. So I get 6, 7, and this will be 6. Carry my decimal over two spots. So now I'm looking at this, and I've got 2.6, and I've got 2.7. Now if I wanted to, I could estimate, well, it's maybe 2.65, and keep going and doing more math. But for our sake, we're just going to look at what, what is it to the nearest tenth. So let's look at these numbers. I've got 6.76 and 7.29. Which is of these two is closer to 7? Well, just by a little bit, 2.6 is closer to 7. So I want to estimate that to the nearest tenth, the square root of 7 is 2.6. Okay, I know that's a lot of math, so we're going to look at one more example. And it just takes a lot of time and practice. All right, the square root of 30. So the first thing I do is what perfect squares are on either side. So I'm going to do the square root of 25 and the square root of 36. Okay, so this will be 5, and this will be 6. Now, 30 is about halfway between these two. So I know the square root is somewhere between 5 and 6, so what's going to be my first guess? I'm going to go with 5.5 times 5.5. And sometimes you'll be right on, and sometimes, yeah, you'll make a lot of mistakes. So 5 times 5 is 25. Carry my 2. So that's 25, 26, 27. So far we have 275. And that should be the same answer down here because it's 5 times the same numbers. So we really don't have to do that math. And we get 5, 12, carry my 1, 10, carry my 1. Okay, so we have 30.25. That is super close. Now since our guess was high, we probably want to try lower. 5.4 times 5.4. And let's see, we get 
16, carry my 1, that would be 20, 21. So then we do 20, carry my 2, 25, 26, 27. So in this case, the answer comes out 6, 1, I know I'm going to have a decimal there, 9, 2. So 5.4 was too low and 5.5 .5 was too high. But which one of these two numbers right here is closer to 30? Well, my guess is going to be 30.25. So I would estimate the square root of 30 is 5.5 .5 if you're estimating to the nearest tenth. So sometimes these guesses don't come out that great. If you end up too high with your number and you go down one and it's still too high, you have to keep working your way down because the goal is you want one number to be higher than your target number and one number to be lower than your target number. So take your time, make good guesses. And by the way, just for fun, square root of 30, that's irrational. Square root of 25, rational. This can be expressed as a whole number decimal. This one if you were to actually keep working it out, it would go on and on forever and ever. It will be a decimal that never ends and never repeats. Remember, 5.5 .5 is just an estimate.